Hey y'all, uh, it is April the 30th, 2020, and uh, I just thought I would shoot this brief video right quick, turn the camera on, look it really is me, alright, I wanted to pop in on y'all there for a second, in between broadcasts, I do plan to have a broadcast tomorrow, Friday evening, and Lord knows it'll be more um overflowing than even typically all right so stay tuned for that plus i want to get off of youtube because i'm just i'm disgusted by myself for being on youtube so much but i like the live chat wherever i go i want to get that live chat because i love the interactiveness love that because it's it empowers me and i appreciate it all right so that being said i wanted to cut a short video but uh, I just want to talk about a couple of things. First thing I want to talk about is these contributions. I love them, all right? And I know, man, nobody's promised tomorrow. Stuff like that. Like, um, every comment that I get, you know, I savor it. I know that it could be the last, all right? And I appreciate them because they're usually so crucial and so deep, all right? Especially from, as you have noticed recently, a Miss Angela Tate, who's vying for the spot of co-host, but I don't know. It's hard to tell who can handle it. All right, plus we're trying to get up off of YouTube, and I know a lot of people uh, like YouTube, and or they don't like YouTube, but at the same time, they deal with it. All right, I wanted to read this here comment, because I think it's going to prove to be crucial. And it's got some of the nitty-gritty, the in-between-the-lines type stuff that I don't always say. The little nuances that don't always get mentioned, all right? So I wanted to bring this up. It's from Angela Tate from out of the UK, Great Great Britain. Uh, they're trying to make it great again, or I'm not sure. But Angela Tate says this three hours ago. She says, okay, let's get this straight there. Let's get this straight there. Ain't nothing you need from the Jones creature. Who, um... Angela won't refer to him by his first name. That would be Alex Jones, I'm pretty sure. But from the Jones creature, because this is a kind of a running topic, and I wanted to explain some very crucial things for y'all. I know you think you do, but you really don't. So I think that I do, but I don't. I'll accept that as a premise, all right? So I got pretty curious. She, she says, you don't need nothing from him. You think you do, but you really don't. So just the fact of him putting the eating of people into the, <laughs> his neighbors, by the way, the psyche of the sheep is for the express purpose of normalizing such an act, even if it's brought about by supposedly genuine starvation. And, you know, me and Angela agree on much more than we disagree on, I'm pretty sure, at this point. And I would say I pretty much agree with everything she said up until this point. At least, all right? And in that, um, I'm not about to eat people. And it's like, honestly, you want to live so bad that you go, go around eating people and stuff. That's how bad you want to live. Uh, me, personally, I don't get it. But I think Angela, she's kind of on the same page that way. So I don't want to... I don't want to get it all mixed up. The thing is, I do agree. All right. And so she says, you might even go so far as to say sheep don't listen to Alex. But I would beg to differ, Gerard. Sadly, they do. Great numbers. Great, great numbers. Yeah. That's true. You know, the thing is, innately about sheep, what I had to bring up is that they'll follow you uh, whether or not you're good or bad sheep will all right they don't if you're a shepherd they're gonna follow you and stuff if you know how to break the sheep and the sheep are really easily broken and stuff and you can herd them around uh but that doesn't that doesn't make the shepherd bad necessarily all right if we're talking very literally and also about alex jones you know and yeah eating his neighbors and stuff uh, what i gotta express and i expressed it before i've done the math and I know it's a little bit complicated for some people, but if you were to talk, say for about three hours, on average every day, let's say five days a week, all right, but sometimes more, if you were to talk that much, and that's in front of a camera, behind the scenes, you're going to be talking just as much because you got to send out all these different directions. You're going to be talking and listening all freaking day. Every day, that's kind of what your job is, all right? And, um... Some people take it very, very seriously. And so, okay, so Alex Jones, he does this much talking. And what I got to stress is that 
when you're talking about South Central Texas, all right, or below, you're going to run into some folks. I had to promise you, it makes me wonder how many people have actually met people from Texas, all right, or maybe people from Texas don't leave very much. But the thing is, Alex Jones did not invent the idea, nor did he like, I mean, he normalized it. The thing is, he's banned from everywhere. How is he going to normalize anything except in the underground, actually? And could there be a lot of sheep in the underground? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. But that doesn't, if there's sheep that listen to me, okay, now I'm illegitimate. All right. I can't control who listens to me. That's what you got to understand. All right. Or at least that's what I would suggest to think about is you can't control who listens to you. So uh, that being said, and of course, if you're talking for three hours on end, eventually, if I were to talk three hours for about five days a week, my whole life, eventually I'm going to talk about eating people. All right. That might sound weird, but it's like you run out of things. Eventually, you're going to talk about eating people. Okay, so that being said, you do understand that the elite humans, uh, wait, the elite eat humans, don't you? And the thing is, I'd have to say that there's a lot of people out there doing wild, crazy things. Not just the elite, but certainly the elite would probably be uh, incriminated in all this. And probably the occasional eating of people, right? So a topic that a lot of people really can't handle anyways. And I can appreciate that. Some people just can't handle it. But more and more people are starting to understand, well, this does take place occasionally. It probably doesn't happen, like, constantly. Or maybe it does, uh, you know. But who's to say, right? I don't think Alex Jones necessarily, until this point, can be blamed for people eating people or the normalizing of people eating people. He did mention, by the way, that if his daughters weren't around, he would just go commit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was a situational thing. He was talking about his daughters, by the way. He said, they've been steadily introducing the idea and the behavior of eating people over the years into the minds of the masses. And Jones is right here on cue to play his part in des desensitizing and initiating the ignorant masses into this abomination, right? He's playing this role to perfection. Please don't fall for it. Don't waste your energy on him because he's no good. Nothing good will ever come of it. All right. Okay, I want to stop right there and there's a little bit more, but I want to stop right there for a second. Um, okay, and I want to address that. It's like I had to, whether or not you believe me, I had to let you know that. I don't trust anybody with anything to include myself as far as 100%, all right? I've lived long enough to know that, that there's just no success in that. You can't trust someone like that, i.e. make someone your idol, i.e. have these heroes and stuff. You should be your own damn hero. You're a superhero, and you should have a cape on, all right? But the thing is, um, I don't put my trust in anybody like that to include Alex Jones or unfortunately any contributor to this channel or myself even there's, there's times when myself is not reliable all right and so you know there's really only one thing to put your faith in is what i would it's what i would say but here's the thing i want to address it before it goes any further and it is going to go a little bit further okay let me just read this little paragraph because i think it's broken up into three paragraphs let me see if i could read more i don't know if i can push this here button it's not letting me push no buttons. Let me see. All right, because it does go further. It's a little bit long-winded. Let me see. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're on it. Uh, oh, my gosh. It won't let me read more. Uh, I don't understand why. But either way, okay, this is what the, the rest of it was telling me that uh, I can read. It says, I would comment. I would comment further, however. You need to digest. She said I would comment further. However, you need time to digest what I've just said about this second obsession in your life. And I'm not sure what's the first obsession. I don't know if it was mentioned, but it's suggested and I take it. I'll take that suggestion and I'll consider it that I need some time to digest, especially I'm, I'm guessing that Alex Jones is my second obsession in my life. And I need to cleanse myself of these topics. And I was kind of like, uh, you know, I got a little bit confused. Maybe it's Alex Jones. Maybe it's all these topics. 
all these different cases and uh, things of that nature. I know I'm all over the place and it seems very frantic, right? And, um, you know, I admit to that. So you need to cleanse yourself of these topics. You think about them too much and you give them life. And I assumed that there was more to this comment, but I can't read anymore. I'll put a little heart on it. I appreciate that. Now, um, I have to let you know on a personal note, um, and we're going to do a little news blitz before we get out of here, I think. But on a personal note, I've been told that before. Probably a number of times, right? Um, I can't, probably just a handful of times I've been told, you think too much, right? And so, because it's a handful of people said it, obviously, I would have to take time to consider it. So, I had considered it, all right? But you know, it's even deeper. And it's actually took me a long time to be shown this. It's not like I thought it up or I'm very smart at all. But you know, it's even deeper. It's that um, I, I have a lot of thoughts that go through my head, all right? And the truth about it is, is that I don't control any of these things, these thoughts going through my head. So as far as thinking too much, I can understand because it seems like sometimes that it's frantic, but um, I, I don't think at all. I, I know that might sound slick, like I'm trying to sound cute, but I'm not. I'm really not. I don't think, right? Think happens to me, I think, man. Like, thoughts go through my head. It's not like I can control them. Let me give you a simple example. Try to keep one thought in your head. Try to hold it, right? Uh, a long time ago, the great Kenny G, uh, he had this one feat, and I think it's in Ripley's, believe it or not, or Guinness Book of World Records, where he held a note on the saxophone. He held this one note for like an hour, or maybe it was even more, right? That's amazing. When you think about it, how can you do that? He held it for about an hour. Try doing that with one thought. All right, really sincerely try to only think about one thought for an hour. You might be able to do it, but you might be going crazy at the end. All right, there's something, it's like trying to hold water in your hands in the ocean and stuff. Eventually, it's going to come back. It's not yours. You didn't invent it. It's nothing new. All right, you think that you're having new thoughts. Maybe you're not. Neither am I. None of, the, none of these things are new, and we didn't invent it. Oh, yeah, we're the ones thinking, and I can control what I'm thinking and not thinking. That's not actually the case. Thoughts are coming through us. It's kind of like it's kind of like we're a prism, maybe some, somehow like of a little window and a microcosm into what's happening externally around us. We think that we can control these things, not necessarily. And that being said, actually, there's a whole bunch of time. And uh, I got a little bit of time, so I'll probably upload them to YouTube, I guess. I don't know, just to be real simple. These garden videos that I've made over the past few days. And there's three of them, and I still haven't uploaded them. And that happens. I just want to explain that. Um, what you probably should understand out there is when you see me, that's when I'm focusing on these things. All right, that's when you see me. But the whole rest of the day, I'm actually thinking about all sort of other things. Or thoughts are passing through me. And which is causing me to focus on these other things to include, I got to go to work, right? And my work is as such where you have an accident, you can cut yourself wide open. It's not good or even worse. Uh, you kind of got to think about that stuff and be focused on that stuff for about eight hours out of the day. And then I got to think about other stuff. How am I going to get home? How am I going to get uh, to work? How am I going to get uh, food in my belly? How am I going to get in a refrigerator? You know, this and that, I got to make time for this. I, I want to look at that. I got to do this. There's a whole garden, like I said, that I made these videos. Spend some time in there. Like, literally, that's the problem is what I think some people are seeing is part of my day. And I think, man, you think about this stuff too much. It's like, dude, I can't even help it. But if you would like, and I, I'm being sorry, sort of sarcastic at this point, but if you'd like, I could videotape the rest of my life. And it's actually very, very mundane i don't think you'd want to even be a part of that <laughs> all right but i appreciate the sentiment and it is true because you could go all bipolar and you could get all frazzled you could lose sleep you could lose health you could lose a lot of things thereby making yourself kind of um, counterintuitive kind of like or making yourself weakened by uh getting all frazzled in that way and in that sense i gotta show you that it's not really happening for me although 
Uh, we live in a state of calamity right now. We've been doing it for a few weeks. I still go to sleep just fine. Um, and, you know, yet and still, I know that we have trouble on the horizon. Let's check out this uh, news blitz real quick, all right? I appreciate the heck out of y'all. And I'll see you tomorrow, maybe, here on YouTube on a live stream. And I appreciate y'all. But we are trying to get off of uh, YouTube. And I am disgusted to be on YouTube, to be honest. At this point, they're doing everything. Like, they're banning those doctors. They're banning all sorts of doctors. It's not Alex Jones, right? Alex Jones said a long time ago, they're going to start banning doctors and this and that. They're going to start banning everybody. And they surely are, all right? I see that there's a tug of war, all right? It's between two directions. You can be all infighting and this and that. And... It's like, okay, for example, before we go into the news splits, it's just kind of like drugs. And I've seen a lot of people who's addicted to this and that. Or if you don't think about that, anything else. Like, I drink a lot of water, for example. Way more than a, a normal person. Right? You can say I'm addicted. I, the thing is, I feel it's benefits on me. And so I drink all that water. Okay? Thing is, people get addicted. And what a lot of people don't realize is, on the earth, in an earthly sense, you eventually... I'm just take a quick second and say that you eventually, maybe you find yourself addicted to something and then you don't want to do that anymore because you feel the chains of addiction and so you go somewhere else and do something else and you, prefer, you perhaps get a little bit addicted to that and you maybe don't even notice, maybe that's not what you call it, but you spend your day getting little satisfactions here and there, right? Or getting whatever you want, you get, um, you get what do they call it, synthesized to it, you get, uh, you get uh, uh, synced up with it, all right, that becomes your thing, you do it a lot probably, whatever it is that you do, all right, so that, in the same sense, when you think about Alex Jones, or when you think about anybody who you might be getting information from, if you're not getting information from anybody, good luck with that, I don't think that's going to work out, but uh, then go for it, but you typically people get their information from somebody, from some people, either that or robots, all right? So they're getting it from some people. If you don't get it from Alex Jones, well, then you get it from somebody else, or you get it from somebody else. There's all these people out there who's got world-class talents and stuff, and Lord knows I don't have time to listen to everybody, all right? So if it wasn't Alex Jones, then who, who else is it? You might say, God, oh yeah, I get it, I get it. All right, but I'm talking about people, right? Quite literally, I want you to give me an example. If you can't do it, well, then I don't know what to tell you. It's like telling someone who's addicted to crack, oh, stop being addicted to crack. Well, you might want to give them a another alternative, all right? Or you might want to get, instead of just saying, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, well, then do what? What is it that you're suggesting that I do? And the reason I ask is because whenever I ask, I am not ever given an example. Nobody ever gives me an answer. It's like, well, why are you running away from my question? And you don't have an answer for it. Hmm. And we might talk about that later. You know, I would have to make all sort of assumptions, but we might have to talk about that later. All right, KSAT News says, here are San Antonio tourism spots reopening this weekend. We need to get stuff open, all right? Don't get it confused. Fact check, Hilton CEO shatters Trump's testing conspiracy theory while sitting beside him. That is probably not what happened. Fake news, CNN, I'm disgusted. They're traitors, all right? I don't need Alex Jones to tell me that. All right, it's kind of plain as day. I know I might be thinking a little bit too far into it, but these people want to wreck you in your life. Stay home order extended until May 19th includes guidance for businesses reopening May 1st. You're going to see all sort of rule bending. That, that to be sure, because people want to get that money. I don't know if you can blame them up in San Antonio. Deputy's daughter found shot to death in North Houston apartment, officials say, and that sounds bad. I don't like that. All right, I don't like any of that. Uh, they're still talking about Kim Jong-un, and he, I think he still disappeared. The craziest, most outrageous Kim Jong-un facts and rumors. All right, and then just in case if I wanted to know Alex Jones in 90 seconds, if you're so easily deceived that you can be told about a person in 90 seconds, then God bless you, and maybe this channel's for you. Seabed fossils show the ocean is undergoing a change not seen for 10,000 years. Good going. I, like I care. Canada to make announcement on assault weapons ban after mass shootings in Nova Scotia. I, don't, I guess that just happened. I don't know. There's a mass shooting. Why don't you ban crazy people shooting up everybody?
Oh, you don't want to do that? Oh, but you got this contact trace and it's not working yet. The epidemic of mental illness in metal. And, you know, I didn't see that coming, but I got to assure you that in metal and stuff, or in rock music and stuff, and with singers and stuff, I like all sort of music, man. I appreciate all these people to include Chester Bennington right there, who went ahead and allegedly ended his, reportedly ended his life. Uh, a while back, um, yeah, it's a lot of mental uh, mental illness for sure. That's kind of a big part of what inspires uh, people to go up and start just yelling and screaming stuff in front of everybody, right? It really is. Uh, that was the elephant in the room for this whole time. A lot of molestation, for example, leads to people, and it's just like, oh man, we need to address this, uh, but maybe we won't. Painkillers, sedatives, and short supply during COVID nineteen. Uh, as you might know, painkillers, sedatives, a lot of them come from China, all right? I don't know if you appreciate that yet, all right? But you might appreciate all the little plans China has for you. In fact, maybe uh, maybe they just stop giving you your little goodies, all right? Maybe that's what they have in mind to include painkillers, sedatives, but you, uh, you can include psychotropic drugs, which a lot of these youth are put on because people are lazy, because grown-ups were lazy, and they put their children on all these psychoactive drugs, right? When those drugs run out, it is going to be a very difficult outside. Let's put it to you like that. Listening to Christian Rock by Mistake says uh, this guy and that's the end of the google thing i don't want to go into more stories right it's not too much to be said about right now but free free michael flynn for sure i know it's a lot of uh, conversation going on about that free roger stone for sure we want at least a little bit of justice here's what i'm say all across the board absolutely no justice in fact the very opposite of justice sometimes most of the time and we need an example. If we need only one person to come through and do the right thing, we need to start in baby steps by doing the right thing, pointing out that people are getting framed up and it's all coming from the tip-top echelons of government all up in the FBI and the CIA. All right, we need to address that. Either that or they're going to crush us and sprinkle all sorts of diseases on us via Bill Gates. I hope that you're not confused by that. And Dr. Fauci, that slick willy up in the White House. All right, Communist Party of China, Satanism, eating people, kidnapping children, doing the worst unimaginable things to them, getting, getting over on us, uh, introducing all these things into our lives that never were meant to be. Um, and we need to put a little stop to that, I think. Maybe I think too much, all right? But I don't control my thoughts. And I don't know if you do out there, but if you do, God bless you. And I'll uh, holler at y'all maybe tomorrow. It's April the 30th. 2020.